A man is grateful to be alive almost one year after being shot 15 times, if you can imagine, in Minneapolis. Yeah, our Bab Santos spoke with him about his long recovery and new outlook on life. Babs? Yeah, that's right. He was in the hospital for about three months after the shooting, and he says his surgeon had never seen a patient with so many holes in their body. The more that I talk about it, the more you know, the easier it is to, to deal with and to work through. Almost a year after nearly dying on this hospital bed, Gabe Tauscher is still trying to put in the words the suffering his body went through. Every nerve that had been cut was screaming. Last year on May 29th, the now 30-year-old was shot 15 times during a domestic incident inside of these downtown Minneapolis apartments. I think three to the left hip, one got me in the back of the left foot, um, one in each uh, butt cheek. I've got four-ish in my left arm. Coming up on the one-year mark since the trauma of that day, Tauscher is still coming to grips with the fact he's even alive. I know there's a lot of luck, a little bit of skill, and you know maybe some divine intervention there. In his fight to live, he spent 85 days here in the hospital. You want to wave hello? And he says he needed 20 pints of blood, about twice the amount in the average person. I, I feel like I'm a little bit more thankful for you know life in general. What followed that was a long uphill battle to get back on his feet. The bullets left his body covered in holes, but without any brain or spinal injuries. And he's grateful for that in his second chance at life. It's definitely made some colors a little bit brighter and some food tastes a little better, you know? Tauscher doesn't hold any resentment towards the man who shot him in an exchange of gunfire, an ex-boyfriend of the girl he was dating at the time. Police say that man led them on a chase in Sherburne County and fired at officers before committing suicide later that day. Tauscher thinks if they'd just been able to talk, all of this might have been avoided, and he still has a message for him. I would tell him I forgive him. And to mark one year since, Gabe says he'll return to downtown Minneapolis for the first time and stand where he was shot as a way of saying he's not going to let this keep him down. Wow, all of that so hard to believe in and so glad that he's doing well. Crazy, amazing yeah. story. And I know, just I'm sure the doctors are feeling the yeah. same way after treating him too. All right, thanks, Babs. Three teenagers.